When classifying mixtures, you can call mixtures heterogeneous or homogeneous. The word genius, genius just refers to a type. You know, that's just what the Greek origin of that word is. And hetero, different. And homo being the same. Classifying matter as hetero or homogeneous is done visually with the naked eye. Just some simple examples of kind of the idea right here. Like this sample of rock salt, of just Himalayan rock salt, is pretty heterogeneous. Some of the crystals are dark, some of them are lighter. This sample of just dirt is also pretty heterogeneous. There's different kind of stones. If you look at the bottom, middle, and top, there's different colors, different shades throughout right there. Okay, now if we inspect just one of these crystals, it becomes very, one of these crystals is very homogeneous. This crystal of rock salt here is pretty homogeneous from the top, middle, and the bottom. Looks the same, the same shade, same color around. Same thing with this rock crystal. It looks so pretty homogeneous. <clears throat> this piece of wood with the fine stain that's in there, you can see the grains. And this gra this wood grain is pretty heterogeneous, okay, with its shades of colors right here. This paper, this packing material. This paper, this packing material here is pretty homogeneous in its color. Being able to classify matter mixtures as heterogeneous or homogeneous is usually done visually. I hope this helps. Thank you.